This is Local 4 News at 4. We'll talk about a big comeback for Robert Pattinson as The Dark Knight and a look into the future of global warming. Linda is here to review two films for us on this Friday. They're both terrific and very, very different. That's how we're starting this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you want to start with? Well, let's start with the global warming one. Um, this is about the changes that the Earth is going through and a man who's worried about what will happen when his little girl grows up. So it's something I think you could identify with. This is, or any, any parent could identify with. He goes around the world to look at solutions to conserve energy, soil, and water. And these are not things that are going to happen in the future, and these are measures taken right now. This is part of the QC Environmental Film Series. It will be shown at 2 o'clock on Sunday at the Figgy Art Museum. Is it something we could take our kids to? As you, you could. I don't know that it would hold their interest. But I love the way animation is done. It's done very cleverly. And so it really does engage the viewer a little bit more than other documentaries. And the father that's going along and doing this as he's teaching his daughter along the way. Yes, and he's thinking, what, 20, 40, what will it be like for her? And it ends on a beautiful, beautiful note of hope. It wouldn't be fair to say what it is, but it really got to me and it made me tear up. I think any parent would actually, this would resonate with any parent. Any too. parent. All right, Linda, your next film. The highly anticipated, <laughs> the Batman. You know, and I was a naysayer, I really was. I thought it can't get any better than Christopher Nolan's Batman. But this is as good in a different way. Robert Pattinson does not sparkle like he did in his vampire series here. He is instead a very brooding, sad, kind of awkward and new crime fighter here. And when there's a, a murder, and there's more than one, he has to not only solve the murder, but make his way through a very dark and disturbing Gotham. What'd you give it up for in terms of stars? Four out of four. I would see this movie again. I must warn people, though, it is rated PG-13, but this is not a kid movie. Uh, the Riddler, in particular, is a very disturbing character here. Not the cartoonish one we think of, but someone who is all too lifelike in many ways. Is it the Batman franchise that's bringing the crowd out, or is it Robert, the big name? I think it's both. I really do. And um, Zoe Kravitz plays Catwoman. She is, you know, we talked about her just a couple of weeks ago. This is her year. She is terrific as a very mysterious woman with a secret of her own who may or may not befriend Batman. All right, Linda, thank you so much. You can see Linda's full reviews at ourquadcities.com. Well, what about the first one? How many stars? Four. I love uh, them both. Both. Two fours. Mm -hmm. Have we ever had that before? I don't think so. <laughs> first time for everything.